How do you pronounce your name? Nicholas Omelana. And if you need to hear it clearer, Nicholas Omelana. Before Nico Omelana would become one of the UK's most infamous YouTubers. Hey, little boy playing with his toy. I lost a little boy. Then buy Batman clothes. Before Nico Omelana would step into the ring of politics, running a campaign to become the mayor of London, England. How should London be policed? Well, I actually plan to employ more policemen and put them straight into the Houses of Parliament, as that's where all the real criminals are. They need to be watched. Before Nico Omelana would have over 520,000 followers on Twitter, over 1 million followers on Instagram, and nearly 3.5 million subscribers on YouTube at the time of this recording. Believe it or not, but a YouTube influencer could help prevent current London mayor Sadiq Khan from a first round landslide in his upcoming re-election campaign. That's right, Nico Omelana, who's best known for his YouTube channel, where he regularly creates comedy content, including a whole bunch of hilarious prank materials, is the first choice of nearly 5% of all Londoners to become their next mayor. That's the shocking results that a recent ITV London news poll uncovered, and needless to say, it's got a lot of people going across the pond, wondering if they're about to have a totally new type of politician representing one of the most famous cities in the world. But if you ask Nico himself, then he'll tell you that with the support of his fans, the Nico Defense League, or NDL for short, his upcoming victory is a matter of destiny. NDL Times London Mayor campaign is written in the stars. But how did a kid who's been making YouTube videos since he was barely 13 years old arrive at the precipice of becoming one of the most powerful politicians in the entire world. Well, you're about to find out. Hey, what's poppin' guys? Your boy Marlon Palmer back at it again with a brand new video. This one taking a look at the UK's most influential content creator, Nico Milana. Hard to believe that a guy who's best known for his prank material and his memberships in the collective beta squad might just be about to take over control of one of our most historical cities. But hey, that's just the kind of world we live in these days, am I right? Be sure to let me know what you guys think of the story by following me on Instagram at that dude McFly. And let's get into the story. Nico Milano was born on March 4th, 1998 in Staffordshire, a landlocked county in the West Midlands of England. Nico has Nigerian heritage running through his veins and as a kid, his mom taught him to take his manners very seriously. If this clip is anything to go by. That meal was delicious, mummy. I want some more. I want never gets. I think it's time you left my house. But mummy, I'm only five. I'll die out there. It's a cruel world, Nicholas. All right, that was clearly a gag, but it does give you a pretty good taste of the type of content Nico has been creating from a very young age. In fact, Nico became enamored with viral content after starting his own YouTube channel on June 2nd in 2011. As he began to explore his creative side of his personality, Nico focused on showing off his early FIFA skills and his burgeoning sense of humor by posting some spectacular gameplay videos and a homemade sketches when he was still a young teenager. It has begun, guys. It is finally here. And first, I just want to show you my team. Look at that. Look at my team. We've got team of the season in Yamer. You might wonder what his parents thought about his decision to dedicate so much of his life towards becoming a YouTuber. But according to Nico, they've never had a problem with it at all. In fact, they've been extremely supportive. My parents are very supportive of me doing YouTube. Like, my dad actually gives me tips for my videos. And yeah, so I'd say they have no issues with it. Even if Nico generally spent more time worrying about his latest comedy sketch than he ever did his grades at King Edward VII school in Stafford. An A in maths, a B in science, and a B in cooking. Where's the A star? Well, I, I didn't get one. Where is the A star? I didn't get one, Mom. Too much game station. What, no, I thought Too much game station! Don't worry, buddy, I'm in the same boat. I'm in the same boat. After grinding away for a couple years, Nico found some massive success when his parody of the Drake and Future song Jumpman went viral and earned him legions of fans. He'd show off the results of all his hard work in a video he titled Becoming a YouTube Sensation after he was awarded his first official YouTube plaque. You finally done it. Overreacting is the key to become a FIFA YouTuber. Thank you so much. This is a dream come true. Meanwhile, pursuing his YouTube goals, he went to study at Stafford College in a media program. Then in 2018, Nico got himself a shout out from the YouTube collective, The Sidemen, which helped him gain more than 20,000 subscribers in record time. How do you feel Yo, the did Sidemen you know the now? The Sidemen. You out. Sidemen. I couldn't care less, to be honest. I mean, a shout out from Sidemen, will, it will do that. They do have that type of effect. Shout me out, Sidemen, please. Shout me out. Soon after he began to develop his hit video series, Fake Employee Prank, which he shot at multiple storefronts like McDonald's, Subway, and even the Apple Store, catapulted him into further success. Six chicken nuggets then instead. Six chicken. Mm. 
No, we have no chicken nuggets either. Is that a joke? No, it's not a joke. I know it's a joke at McDonald's, but maybe you should try KFC. Of course, as much success as those videos earned him, they also brought him boatloads of notoriety, and he ended up getting banned from all IKEA stores throughout the UK and Ireland after passing himself off as a fake employee, and one of their locations backfired in his face. This is me with a security guard who kept me locked in a cell in the back of IKEA for three hours. Because of this, everybody hates me. Don't worry, it takes like 10 years to put together IKEA stuff anyways, you won't miss it. And they break pretty easily, so, well, never mind. Then in 2019, he started up a bit of controversy after successfully sneaking into the KSI vs. Logan Paul boxing match, making it all the way into the ring before he was stopped by security. Maybe if I looked like I was meant to be there, they wouldn't question it. The next year, he did it all over again. I just need to stand there, that's all I need. I just need this, aye. Okay, and it's time to back, it's time to back out. We did it! Both of these stunts boosted his subscriber base even further and earned him the respect of a whole bunch of YouTubers all around the world, which helped him slingshot Nico into the ranks of the best of the best. By 2019, he was firmly established and ready to diversify his creative output ever further, teaming up with other YouTubers like Chunks, AJ Shabil, Sharky, and King Kenny TV to launch the collective known as the Beta Squad in early 2019. So where could he possibly go from here? Well, Nico thought about it long and hard and decided that his next step in global domination would be to literally take control of an entire city. On April 2nd, 2021, he shared a video with all of his followers where he announced that he would be throwing his hat into the ring for the upcoming mayoral race in London. There is no greater leader in this country than me. So please, my friends, vote Nico for mayor of London on May 6th or your breath stinks. A week later, he requested that his campaign be taken seriously and he demanded time to be interviewed by BBC, something the world famous television channel was more than willing to provide. The system is broken for young people and I am the only man who can fix it. We aren't taken serious and it makes me sick. I have more knowledge, strength and integrity than any other candidate. As for where Nico will go from here and whether or not he will become the next mayor of London, well, that's a story for another time and another place. Though with the election coming up in the first week of May, we're bound to find Find out soon just how seriously Londoners are taking Nico's bid for office. Be sure to let us know what you thought about Nico's story in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Before They're Famous so you can vote on who's next, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!